Hello everyone and welcome to our concert. My name is Mia Ward. I am a first year music education major here at Loris College. And tonight I will be reading the poem, O oh Danny Boy. This poem is about longing for home, about a want to connect. It is originally from Irish descent and about the longing for past culture and homelands. About a feeling of almost displacement while having to simultaneously move on. I live an hour and 45 minutes away from my home where I grew up all my life and made all my memories. However, sometimes it feels like I'm almost a world apart. So this poem personally really stands out to me, especially during the season of Lent when I want to better myself and further my connections. So during the season of Lent, I want to really reconnect with my family and find my place here in the place that's going to be my home for the next four years. It's okay to miss and long for the past, but we have to move on with the present. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountainside. The summer's gone and all the roses fall.
Good evening and thank you for being here this evening uh, as we start an early season of Lent this year. Uh, the snow is starting to fall and so we're reminded that yes, we're still in winter. Yes, we're still in this darkness, uh, both daylight and spiritual in a sense. So thanks for being with us. This is the Loris Choirs. On my left, we have our wonderful concert choir, who you just heard sing Ovos Omnes. And on my right, we have the wonderful chamber singers, who you will also hear sing Ovos Omnes, but a different rendition. Uh, this is a very penitential text, and we hope you enjoy this next version by Pablo Casals. Hi, my name is Ezra Oki. I'm a senior here at Loris College. I wanted to read you a poem that I wrote titled Trust in Him. I wrote this poem during my first year of college. So many new and different things were happening all around me, especially with COVID still being very present. I just wanted something or someone that I could rely on to help me get through that year. I really came to understand more deeply how important my faith was to me and how it had shaped my life so far. The best decisions I have made in life were always the ones that I took before God. They weren't spur-of-the-moment decisions, but ones that I spent in prayer. This poem acts as a reminder that certain things may come up in your life that may derail your vision for your future. But I urge you to look within and decide what is truly important to you. If you do this, 
you can almost always find a positive aspect from any experience. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy. Trust in him. A world constantly changing, one thing is clear. Our God and Savior is always here. When we are weary and our strength is gone, we can lean on him to carry us on. When we are lost and can't find our way, he is the light that finds any stray. The devil will tempt you with your wants and pleasures, but those things are temporary and won't help your future endeavors. He only seeks to further his own personal gain, all the while we feel more and more in pain. Only through God can we find true joy. Resist the devil or else risk being destroyed. One true thing that can always be guaranteed is that God will always be there in our time of need.
So as you can tell, we have some great readers, some great poets. Uh, when they sign up for choir, the description below the course roster doesn't say anything about being a poet, but I make them do it anyway. Um, some of them begrudgingly, and others have written their own poetry. Ezra, for instance, had just read his. Tonight is all about stillness. It's all about peace. These are things that in today's society are hard to come by. Uh, so I, I asked a few of the students to be poets tonight, to give their reflection before a poem that we chose or a poem that they wrote. And I asked them to think, how does it affect you as a student here at Loris? This is a very transitory time. You get the wonderful experience of community. You get the wonderful experience of classes that you might never take again. Uh, how are you going to use that time? How are you going to take advantage of that? I also asked them to reflect in terms of Lent. How are you going to let this Lent change your life? Yeah? So, a special piece coming up, uh, we'll have one of our student readers from Mass, Patrick, read some scripture and reflect. A special piece that I wrote a couple years ago is called Be Still, Be Still. And for those of you that know Debbie Gross, uh, she was a wonderful uh, part of our spiritual life team here at Loris College. Uh, Jacob Heidenreich has filled her shoes wonderfully. Uh, she is a fixture in this community. She's an example of what it means to be a lifelong do-hawk, whether you work here, whether you come here, whether you just enjoy Loris in the community. And right now, she and her husband, Terry, another fixture in this community, uh, he is battling cancer. Uh, they're flying to Dallas tomorrow. Uh, down to one of the cancer centers. And so this piece I actually wrote for Debbie a uh, couple of years back. And if you know Debbie, she does not sit still. Uh, she goes, 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 goes. She says five minutes a year, I have quiet and stillness. And then she goes, 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 goes. So I asked her what her favorite scripture passage was. And she said, be still and know that I am God. I was like, Debbie, are we, are we talking about, you know, actually being still she's like yeah it's a it's a good reminder for me to be still be in prayer and to trust in god uh, she's been a wonderful example of the kind of optimism the kind of support that you give someone going through a very challenging time uh, we've had students this semester especially uh, and community members that have been facing all sorts of difficulties and yet here they are on a friday night whether up here or out there, and yes, we'll get some of you seminarians singing up with us in the future. Don't think that I don't see you. Uh, there are just such great tributes to what it means to be a Christian, what it means to persevere, what it means to find stillness, and to find peace in the discomfort. So we hope you continue to enjoy.
My name is Patrick Julian, and I'm a senior here at Loris. The title of the scripture passage I'm going to read is The Calming of a Storm at Sea. A few things stuck out to me as I was praying with this passage, especially as we enter this Lenten season. The first is the mention of the disciples and Jesus leaving the crowd to cross the sea. This made me think of how crowded my own life is right now with my schoolwork, my social life, and my work life. Maybe we must slow down and ask ourselves, where in our own lives do we need to escape the crowdedness, the noise, and the clutter to hear our Father's voice? The next subject that strikes me occurs when the storm comes and begins to rage and Jesus lies asleep at the back of the boat. The disciples panic and wait to Jesus, asking in desperation for help. He awakes and speaks two monumental words, be still, be still. Was Jesus just saying be still to the sea? Or was he telling those he was with to be still as well? In analyzing these words further, I discovered the phrase comes from the Hebrew word rafa, which means to let go. Or to release. Can there be a more fitting phrase for this Lenten season? What is God calling you to let go of? Is he asking you to surrender something to him? For myself, I have removed social media from my life, something that has taken control of the majority of my time. While it is difficult to change this habit, God is not calling us to the easy. He is calling us to the desert to continue to trust and surrender our lives to him daily. Let us remember this during the remainder of these 40 days. And without further ado, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On that day, as evening drew, he said to them, let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took him with them in the boat just as he was, and other boats were with him. A violent squall came up, and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? 
He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with a great awe and said to one another, Who then is this whom even wind and sea obey?
everybody. Uh, I'm Ashlyn Hem. I am a junior here at Loris College. And Dr. Bagby's asked me to speak about what stillness uh, means in my life. So as a student, athlete, musician, I'm kind of on the move all the time and sometimes feel like I'm sprinting around campus a lot. Um, so uh, when Dr. Bagby asked me to read this poem, I had to sit and think about ways that I find stillness in my life and where I find peace in between all of the chaos. Uh, so upon reflection, I realized that I really enjoy the times with my roommate Whitney when we are eating breakfast and dinner before and after the chaos of our days. Um, I lose track of time when I am on the phone with my parents and when I get to speak with them uh, between all my craziness. Um, and I also have to sit and remind myself that I am very fortunate to be able to exercise all of my talents and my passions here at Loris College. So despite all of the running around, I am very fortunate to have all these opportunities. So I will now read to you a, The Power of Silence by Maya Angelou. In the silence of my heart, I find a strength that's deep, a power that can move mountains and give my soul a leap. For in the stillness, I am free from all that tries to bind, and I can soar to new heights with the power of my mind. So don't be afraid of silence. It's where the truth can be found. And in the stillness of your heart, your spirit can be unimagined.
Thank you so much for being here tonight and supporting music at Loris College. Uh, please continue to support our arts in any way that you can, whether it be a donation, whether it be attending future concerts and productions this semester and in the future. We have many exciting projects come up. We hope to see you there. Thanks so much. Have a great night. Go Do Hawks.